Hello everyone. Today we shall look into the topic figures of speech part 2 made easy just for you. The first figure of speech we are going to look into is alliteration. In this figure of speech two or more words begin with the same letter or the syllable. Simply to say that would have the same consonant sound. Okay? So in a sentence when you have the same consonant sound in words then you can take into account as alliteration. For example, potatoes, peas and pumpkin are good for health. So here three words in the beginning begin with the letter p. So that would go into alliteration. Another example is this miss is sister kesla. Look into the words in the brackets. is sound and is okay stress on that here is pronunciation is repeated in this is and sister and is sound is repeated in miss and kisla so all these go into alliteration understand the next figure of speech we are going to look into was antithesis in this figure of speech we do one thing and refuse the other simply to say we put two things together by contrasting them for example man proposes god disposes here proposal and disposal are happening at a time so that is antithesis and they are contrasting even next i loved julie and hated his ambition here love and hatred are two opposite feelings at the same time so two feelings at the same time which are contrasting then it would is antithesis okay another it important figure of speech is metonymy it signifies the name of some person or thing for another man or thing example Williams reads Dickens, Shakespeare and other writers from his library. Does he read Dickens? No. He reads about Dickens. Quite interesting example, right? So that is what metonymy is. That is one of the favorites also. Next example to make you clear. The pen is mightier than the sword. Here pen means the writer and the sword means the wearer. It may be used for the thing which signifies the thing which is filled with it. Now we shall look into synecdoche. This figure of speech is used when one thing points out the other. And it has various definitions and one interesting definition is when a part of a thing stands for the whole then it is known as synecdoche. Examples will make you clear. First, he is the nester of a village. What nester here means is the oldest man. So, he is the oldest man of our village. Understand? Another example. The country will be safe if all the hands walk together. How hands here? So, here hands means the people who will work with unity. it doesn't just represent the hand so it represent the hands of the people okay so when a part stands for the whole then it is known as synecdoche now we shall look into a sonnet it signifies the repetition of vowel sounds it is different from the alliteration which signifies the repetition of consonant sounds so the repetition of vowel sounds is assonance and the repetition of consonant sounds is alliteration understand example for assonance here it is clear my dear then hear my fear can you hear the sound ear yeah. of course then it is assonance hyperbole in this figure of speech we describe a thing or a person beyond the proper limit example belinda smiled and all the world was gay how can the world be happy with a girl smile here the writer wants to say that belinda smiled and all her near and dear ones became happy that's it it's a kind of exaggeration understand the 
example would have made you clear about hyperbole inversion in this figure of speech words are presented in their unnatural order john milton was very famous for using this figure of speech and to make it clear to you here is an example oh god's glory i sing is this the correct order or is this the natural order that we do no so what is the correct order oh i sing god's glory maybe this may be right but for inversion oh god's glory i sing of course the unnatural order fits next we shall look into invocation in this figure of speech the poet addresses god or the muse to help him for example oh god come and help me so here he is addressing whom here addressing the god so it is invocation obviously now we shall look into some mcqs to boost your memory exult o shows and ring o bells identify the figure of speech option a alliteration option b metonymy option c epithet option d invocation so you guessed it right it's option b metonymy how is it when one thing is referred by another then it is metonymy exult or shows and ring or bells here shows means the crowd on the shores and not the exact shore so it's metonymy <laughs>